No way. No way. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's working. Awesome. Hey, uh, how's it going? I'm here. Yeah, I'm still here. You can see. I I I'm still okay. Uh, we're somewhere in the walls here of Smashbots Arena, but I... They're still out there. <laughs> How cool is that? I mean, Smashbots, the administration closed down, but the bots, they're still fighting. I don't know. I feel like I'm... I, I feel like I'm in some sort of dream here. It's... It's... it's. I don't know. It's, it's nothing I ever thought I, I'd get to experience. These bots, you know, sort of doing their own thing, putting on their own tournaments. But here we are. And here you are. Thank you so much for coming. I... I yeah, you know, I, I, I'm... I'm just happy I could, you know, send this out to the rest of the world, the stuff they've been doing here, the training, the the fighting, it's been, it's been something else, seeing that Pichu, you know, it's, uh, well, I mean, it, they're going to start soon, so we, we got to get into it, I, I, I don't even know what to say, but, uh, you know, well, one thing we can take a look at is, is the, uh, the the betting which you know I've still got a, a hook on which is pretty cool so we can take a look at that and see what people have have have, uh, have done let's see here yeah look at that we've got still a ton of sponsors checking in even though the the administration's closed down look at this look at this the bunny hood Sasquatch gold thirty three hundred bucks on that baby and then of course superstar hero superhero there with twelve hundred twelve hundred bucks Saturn's Marin with seven hundred and Metal Sonic not picking up any, but that's, you know, to be understood in this bracket of champions. Wow, that's going to be an intense one. Then, of course, in our, our next bracket here, we've got, uh, we've got uh, of course, the Unira, the Unira uh, Suicide. Unfortunately, uh, either Unira Edelgard or Unira Audrey is going to go down. And uh, then we've got, of course, Hothead Golden Boy in here, as well as Mr. Game & Watch. Recently up from Little Cup, you know, Pichu's running things now, but uh, apparently Pichu is fair. Although I have heard that a bunch of the little cuppers who didn't make it uh, have been eliminated. That's a little scary. Um, over here, we've got uh, Killer Eye Cuphead, a new sponsor. Uh, Hothead Mega Man, a Timer Ganondorf, and uh, Meta Ridley, of course. And then our final bracket looks like uh, Hothead Snake has picked up a bunch of bucks. Uh, Killer Eye K. Rule, of course, still here. And the new Super Koopa will be trying out, uh, see what he can do. Um, big 1500 bucks on him, and of course King Deity is here as well. Uh, so one thing I did pick up in this tournament um, is that we are going to see, uh, there won't be any run back alley, um, but we are going to see some uh, something called Life Light. I think Pichu's running it, and, and I heard some things about elimination, like elimination, elimination. like Not like elimination from the tournament, but like elimination. So we'll see how that goes um but i think they're starting up just now uh so i'm gonna see if we can hook ourselves in here give me one second and we'll get into that match oh, yeah here we go looks like they're playing again on calcis glaciers no no surprise there honestly such a favorite of, of, of all the smash pots here um was banned for a little while um, from the sponsors, uh, but uh, of course it's back. A new season, I guess. I guess this is a new season. Who, who can even call it that? Who knows what to call it anymore? But here we are. Um, you know, this is a new. This is a whole new experience again. Almost. It's like it's like old Smash Bots um, back before we did all the teams. Before we had Super Challenge. You know, this is back to them just fighting, just brawling it out, one v one v one v one. And you know we've got Sasquatch here. Used to be a used to be a back-to-back -back champion. Uh, we've got we've got Marin here, an up-and-comer, doing really well in her team. This oh big punch from Sasquatch Gold there. Of course we got Superhero would just absolutely crush the team battle with a uh, with Edelgard as well. Um, but we'll see how that goes um, when they're back to uh, they're back to teamless fights. So they're gonna have to they're gonna have to care for themselves in this one. We're starting off here, uh, already over a minute's gone by and uh, no KOs yet, um, but we're finally seeing the Smash Ball come in here. You know, Calcius Glacius can be an explosive match as, uh, of course, it's easy to kill off the top. Looks like Hero will be the first one to go down. That's, that uh, final smash is real powerful, real strong. Superhero coming right back, looking for revenge, uh, but um, 
Uh oh, Marin going real far to the side, but she knocks Superhero when she comes back. No problem there. Underneath, we've got Sasquatch Gold fighting against Metal Sonic. Is it? No, it's not quite enough. Sasquatch manages to hang on. Sasquatch is holding on down in these lower areas. Nice tech from Metal Sonic, but he's dropping low. No, he's still hanging in there at 149%. Big headbutt. He's still alive. That's impressive. Uh, okay, we are splitting into two battles now. Looks like Metal Sonic going back to Marin and boom! 167 still alive. That's very impressive. Ooh, the uh, back air from Sasquatch will take them. Uh, looks like it was Metal Sonic down a stock. And uh, we are looking at three stocks. No, three stocks for Sasquatch Gold only. The Bunny Hood Sasquatch Gold holding on to his third stock there while everyone else has dropped one. Superhero got to watch out. He only has 11 mana left. Could be a dangerous situation in this stage in particular. Lots of falling down to the lower platforms as they rotate. You gotta be ready to catch up to that uh, that platform as it goes up. Phantom coming out from Marin. Ooh, another smash ball. We've only got three minutes left here. Again, Sasquatch Gold running down to these lower platforms where he can just camp. This has worked out really well for him so far. It looks like the other fighters are more confident going after each other at, at the top level of the stage where they can uh, get some quick KOs perhaps. Uh, Saturn Marin quickly dodging that final smash from Hero. Not enough to get a KO from him there. Um, and dropping real low, but he's got the MP to come back. No problem there. Now everyone's coming down to Sasquatch. We'll see what uh, he has to answer. Superhero putting on the Accelerado. Sasquatch seemingly has no problem. Okay. <laughs> Commentator's curse there. I was going to say he had no problem uh, guarding his little uh, cave there at the bottom, but then uh, Marin's magic just took him right out. Um, but that's still only his second stalker. He's joining the second stock crew here. Superhero, of course, needs to hang on to that last stock, or he's going to be facing Pichu in a one versus one, uh, where the stakes are quite high. That's true. You know, it's just occurring to me now that dropping first in these four for alls is so devastating, since you have the the threat of of elimination here. You know, you don't want to be. You always want to be first, so you can move on to the next to semifinals. But you really don't want to be last now. Not only is it going to affect your standing like it would before Metal Sonic dropping for some reason, uh, but now it will also affect your chance at life. Uh oh. Ooh, I thought Hero was uh, going to fall too low from that stage fight with Superhero hanging in there. 108% though, he's getting close to kill percent. Nice down air. <gasps> that took out Metal Sonic. That was his last stock. Hero quickly dropping for the dangerous down air, but by taking out Metal Sonic, and then getting taken out by Sasquatch, who does the, the nice little ice tech there with the instant uh, dash dance. I love it. Boom! Big punch. Um, but by taking out Metal Sonic, he uh, he took away his the danger of him being taken out first. That was very smart from Superhero. And it will be Metal Sonic who will face uh, the uh, Pichu the Har Harbinger now. Very, very scary stuff. I don't know exactly what that means, uh, but we will find out soon enough as we are getting down to the wire. Less than one minute here. Marin has to do something, and woo, that's a good start. Uh, you know, it is Marin, though, so one final smash could uh, could change the situation. If she gets it within 30 seconds, she could take it to sudden death. Sasquatch wants to take her out as soon as possible here. He's going real low for it. She gets the grab. Oh, she went down for it, but it wasn't enough. No stage spike, though. She's back. 18 seconds. If Sasquatch can hang on. There it is! The ding of the ding-dong. He only needed the ding. And uh, it took Marin right off the top. And that means Sasquatch Gold is moving on. No question. Two stocks still remaining. Hey, is this the, new is this the old Sasquatch coming back? We haven't seen Sasquatch Gold place in a long time. Team Money... Uh, not, uh, you know, didn't turn out to be the strongest uh, uh, in teamwork, but uh, Sasquatch Gold by himself has, uh, has, uh, has proven that he's still got it. Uh, so that's good to see. Um, but, oh, oh, it's not, sorry, they're running something. Hold on. Oh, is this it? 
I'll turn the mic off and let you watch. What does that mean? Is he gone? Oh my god. Um, okay. That was not exactly what I expected, but uh, I mean, it it happened so fast. I mean, it was a, it was a full two minutes. It went to sudden death, but it did feel like it happened so fast. That was a... That was a nail-biter. Uh, I guess Metal Sonic's gone. Well, it was only Metal Sonic, so really... <laughs> I should be careful about what I say, considering uh, what happened to me last time. Um, but, uh, okay. Wow, the, the stakes. The stakes. The stakes have now been fully realized. And, uh, you know, that being said, it looks like they're starting up quarters, uh, the next quarters match. So, uh, hold on to your butts. And here we go. Of course, this is going to be the uh, the, uh, the Unira battle. Uh, Audrey and Edelgard. Maybe they'll team up. We'll see. Uh, you know, they've uh, they fought each against each other uh, in the uh, in the teams uh, season last time. Of course, we've got Game and Watch here as well. Up from uh, up from Little Cup and Hothead Golden Boy, who's, who's no slouch. Um, definitely likes to get in there and mix things up. So we will see. Um, but you know, there is some uh, there is some potential for. Uh, something going on behind the scenes. We know there was some drama with the inclusion of, of Edelgard into Unira's team. Uh, you know, after after Superstar uh, picking up Edelgard and Unira snatching it from her. Ooh, Game & Watch dropping real fast. Uh, that's unfortunate for him, you know, as Game & Watch is quite light. Uh, he, he is in a bad position if he, obviously, if he gets knocked out first. Um, you know, these, these fighters are going to be looking for that. They're going to be looking for that specific position where they can uh, put out that damage and target down the players with the lower stock. So, so they will be protecting themselves. So if I were Game & Watch, I would definitely be on the lookout here. He's doing a great job protecting himself, though, using those, uh, those big hitboxes from his Nair. Uh, knocking people away. Ooh, it's dangerous stuff from uh, Audrey there. Oh, and a big forward smash from Edelgard and Audrey coming right back out to hit Edelgard and take her off the top. 
these this plant is not pulling any punches you know I, I said maybe they would team up but you can see here they're clearly hitting each other as hard as they can you know I'm starting to think maybe maybe there is some uh, some bad blood between these two right here that really good angle from Golden Boy but Audrey too good of an up B comes right back no problem at all Oh, a big bomb from Game & Watch. That is Audrey's weakness. Takes her right off the left side. We are down to two stocks apiece here for everyone. Uh, Game & Watch must be a little happier to not be uh, in the uh, in the loser uh, position right now. Uh, so he won't be as targeted. Um, and now he has grabbed a final smash ball. That will be a big boon. Despite uh, him not having the greatest final smash in the world in these four for alls, it's definitely bound to grab someone. And it looks like he's gone for Edelgard, who perhaps wasn't expecting it. Uh, he was expecting uh, perhaps Game & Watch to go down for the group of two that were fighting below, but he went straight for Edelgard, who could not get out of the way. And now Edelgard is down to her last stock. This is Unira Edelgard. I wonder if... Audrey is going to be looking out for her or go in for the go in for the kill. Uh, you know, we saw them fighting before, but maybe they were just sparring when they knew it wouldn't uh, cause the end. But uh, it's tough to say. And there you go. Beautiful move from Unira, Unira Edelgard taking out Game & Watch with a quick forward air. Um, and now Game & Watch and her are in this sort of same situation down to their last stock. Very smart. What's this? Unira Audrey dropping down really low and then not being able to come back. That was a questionable move by her. I think she was distracted. That puts her in the one stock situation as well. Very dangerous. One of these, they saw exactly what happened to Metal Sonic. Clearly, none of these fighters want to be in that situation. Whoa! Game Watch coming out with the judgment. Not quite enough. Golden Boy at a high percent, but he still has an extra stock to roll with. Knocking away Edelgard off to the side. Batui coming out, going for Golden Boy. Nice side B. Looks like Edelgard going for the KO against... Oh, and there we go. Game & Watch gets it with the judgment. A big six to take out. <gasps> Audrey, she's going for Edelgard. She's not holding back anything. She went for the down B that would have KO'd her. And a down smash does KO Unira. Edelgard first. That means she will face off against Pichu in Life Light. A teammate taking out a fellow teammate. Not just in a battle, but in a battle for their life what happened behind the scenes what did audrey think about edelgard joining the unira team that was a beautiful move from golden boy is he going to take out audrey right here yes the two unira sponsors are down and it looks like it will be golden boy versus game and watch and game and watch really needs to pull something together at 155 percent he's gonna have to really move Smart getting out of there and grabbing that Kiwi. Big grab from Golden Boy won't be quite enough. Pretending to go out, but then coming right back, keeping the neutral. I like the judgment from Game & Watch. He's going to need a 9. Almost had it there. Oh, the back throw. It was enough. He wasn't ready for it, and he wasn't able to DI. But he won't be facing Pichu, so it's not the end of the world, right? But someone is. And it looks like we're about to see Unira Edelgard versus Pichu.
That's another one down. I don't know what to say. You know, part of me is so excited that this is this is happening. This is what they're doing, you know, left to their own devices. But another part of me is just, I can't believe I'm not going to see Edelgard again. I felt like I had a relationship, you know, with these fighters. But it's nature, you know, kill or be killed. And I guess that happens. Wow. Metal Sonic gone, Edelgard gone. You know, these fighters waiting in the next quarters matches, they must be, you know, they must be scheming. They must be making a plan. They need something to make sure they do not come last. So I hope, I really hope that uh, they're ready because it looks like the next quarters is starting up. Let's see who we got. All right, we're here on five cube. Looks like we got Timer, Ganondorf, we got a Hothead, Mega Man, Killer Eye, Cuphead, and of course Meta Ridley too. We're already starting off really strong, going real deep. Timer, Ganondorf dropping early, but honestly, you know, always someone drops early on on Five Cube, uh, especially in those battles where they fight for the uh, domination of the of the neutral game. And neutral game in Five Cube is so 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 important, more important than than honestly any other stage. You just you need to be in a comfortable spot. And if you're not, you better hope that the white cube is under you or you are going down. Uh, and uh, we saw that with Timer Ganondorf, but ooh, I like him taking the dive there. Oh, but unfortunately, it looks like Hothead Mega Man saw an opportunity and dropped real quickly and taking out Ganondorf. Meta Ridley, of course, of course, not of course, Meta Ridley dropping as well. But Ganondorf, Timer Ganondorf, nice stage spike there. Ooh, and a big forward smash. We are hemorrhaging stocks over here. Killer Eye, Cuphead, two stocks. Hothead, Mega Man, two stocks. Timer, Ganondorf, one left. And Ridley also with two stocks here. Oh no, Hothead, Mega Man dropping as well. Looks like he was going for the white cube, which uh, Meta Ridley is standing on, but he didn't quite aim correctly. He was taken out. That puts him in a very perilous position, as you can easily, easily drop a stock in this particular stage. But they're back on top here. Finally, the Smash Ball is out. Last tournament, we noticed Cuphead was grabbing them all. Let's see if he can uh, keep that up. No, it looks like Mega Man has snagged it this time. Who's he gonna use it on? Looking for an opportunity. Oh, Ridley, Meta Ridley tried to trick him, go up and then come down again, but Mega Man was ready with that final smash. That will indeed take him out. That puts him down to his last stock. Ganondorf is camping at the bottom cubes there. A dangerous place to camp, but honestly, not a bad idea if no way i thought he was done for sure the white cube was there to save him timer ganondorf holding on with his last legs here he must have known he was coming to five cube he must have had a plan maybe his plan was to take out the uh the smaller fighters oh no is that it he needs to bounce off cuphead he did but the cube's not coming back fast enough <gasps> Timer Ganondorf dropped seconds before Meta Ridley dropped. That means Ganondorf is going to fight against Pichu. You know, it could also be that Ganondorf is just confident against Pichu. You know, I'm sure he's he's faced Pichu before. Uh, he, he was in Little Cup. Um, I'm sure he, he, he has confidence. And I hope to God for him he can use it well. Because, uh, you know, we've seen. It's not the same Pichu. You know, Pichu has probably swallowed tons of spirits. Uh, that, uh, you know, normally we wouldn't see in fighters uh, because, you know, there are rules and regulate. Well, there were rules. Uh, now it doesn't seem to be um, so much. But it looks like a Killer Eye Cuphead here absolutely controlling neutral here. Hothead Mega Man trying to find a foothold on the stage has to go out to the Purple Cube instead. Um, but Cuphead's coming right back at him. This is good for Mega Man. If he can get a nice stage spike there, he can take out Cuphead even though he's down on percent. Another final smash. This could be important. Going down to the white cube. Mega Man keeping him away. Ooh, the footstool. But the white cube is still there. Cuphead using the white cube to stay alive. No, he's still okay. Nice back air from Mega Man, but uh, attacks from Cuphead keep him in. Smash Ball is still circling. But it's dangerous to go for it. The grapes are uh, the grapes are more important at this point. Mega Man grabs them. Nice tech against the black cube. 
Grabbing that Metal Blade, throwing it upwards. Boom! The Hidden Side B. Very good play from Killer Eye Cuphead. And there you go. The survivalist of Smashbots manages to stay alive and win the 4 for all. Not a surprise, honestly. We've seen Cuphead do some amazing things. Ah, but that does mean it's time for Ganondorf to face his judgment. That's three for three. That's three for three. Did you see that Gandorf was even faster than the other ones? I was I was I was expecting Gandorf to crush. But man, the lightning, the, the, the scythe, that's I mean, <laughs> as someone who has been involved with the administration before, you know, it it's it, I see that Pichu and I go, that's that's illegal. You've got too many spirits on. That's but this is Pichu's games now. You, you know, we have to we have to accept that. That's just how things are going to be run here. Oh, God. All right. Moving into the next quarters match. Here we go. We're on Barrel Cannon. We got Killer Eye, K. Rule, another Killer Eye. We've got uh, King Dedede. We've got, uh, of course, Super Koopa and Hothead Snake both in here. Super Koopa in his debut in an actual tournament, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see. You know, when the administration was here, these new fighters got proper uh, orientation. They got to see the maps beforehand. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know if Super Koopa has had the experience yet, if he's seen these maps. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe heroes talk to him. Um, but again, you know, maybe... You know what? Now that I think about it, Audrey, with Audrey and... Uh, Oh no, as quick stage spike takes Super Koopa down early. But with Audrey and Edelgard, you know, maybe they're not even respecting the, the, uh, the sponsorships anymore. Um, as that's something to do with the administration. They, they, they might not realize that uh, we're still watching, we're still betting. Um, so that, that makes more sense now that I think about it. Uh, so this should be in quite interesting now, as uh, if, if we sort of pretend that these teams don't exist. They're still rubbing the colors though, so that's nice. What was that? Super Koopa went out to go for Snake, but Snake has a much better recovery than him. Super Koopa down to one stock so early in the match when no one else has lost a stock. That is not what you want to see for a new fighter. Nice dunk from Killer IK Rule, but then gets counter dunked by DDD. But DDD, no problem coming back. King DDD looking strong here. Throwing out that weight. Nice blunderbuss from uh, Killer IK Rule, but gets uh, blown up by Hothead Snake from behind. Throwing out those explosives. It does take out King DDD. Finally, Super Koopa way too low. He's out already. Two minutes into the match, less than two minutes, Super Koopa has to be ready to face Pichu right now. I was talking about all that scheming that uh, these fighters had to have to not come last in these fights. But I don't know. I don't know if Super Koopa has the experience to even think that far ahead, you know? He's got to have, you know, new match jitters. He's got to have... He's got to be intimidated. I don't know. And now he's... He's, he's being thrown out of the nest, you know, and in his first match, he has to face Pichu, someone who has just eliminated three other fighters. Great alley-oop, by the way, by King TDD. I don't know. It's... I can't say it's not fair. It's, it's nature. So here we are. Three fighters left. I'm sure all three of these fighters are, are feeling much more relaxed at this point. Oh man, look at that. K. Rule just throwing out a blunderbuss despite King Dedede running up behind him. You know what? If he dies here, no big deal. 
I'm sure. King Dedede grabbing that quick grapes in the air. Hothead Snake and King Dedede, the last two fighters in this battle, gunning for a semi-final spot. That was a really nice stage spike there. Will King Dedede be coming back? No! Interesting stuff. So normally uh, that Nikita missile would have reset his jump, but of course King Dedede has super armor, so he doesn't get the jump reset uh, despite getting hit by the Nikita. So he fell there, just not quite uh, high up enough. King Dedede grabbing that uh, Onigiri to go. And it looks like Hothead Snake very strong here with the two stock lead. King Dedede looking to uh, close it out as fast as possible. But of course Snake looking to put on as much damage as possible. That Gordo is in a bad spot. Beautiful setup by DDD there. Uh, setting up the Gordo and then dropping down to absolutely limit Hothead Snake's options. And suddenly we're at a tie game. Nice up tilt into Nair combo again with the scoops here. King DDD is on fire. That dash attack to finish the combo, absolutely. Wow, Snake, you know, a very patient fighter, but uh, when you're up against a fighter like that, you can't afford to be patient. You you got to get yourself in the right position as soon as possible. Um, so kudos to the fighters there. Unfortunate for Super Koopa. Uh, well, well, we'll see how unfortunate. Uh, I don't know about his odds. So far, we're zero for three. Let's see how he does. Oh my God, he did it. He did it. Yes. <laughs> I thought, you know, I, I, I was going to say, I was going to call rig for a second. I was going to say, you know, Pichu is just, he's going to just, you know, just eliminate them. Just say they're eliminated. Why go through these trials? But he did it. Super Koopa, the noob who couldn't figure out barrel cannon took out Pichu. And you know, that's how you got to do it. Use the stage against him. Use the lighting against him. Stay patient. This is when you got to be patient. You know, Pichu can get in there, he can do a lot of damage, he can throw you off, but Super Koopa very calm uh, when he was off the ledge there, just coming right back up and, and stalling on the ledge. I, Sorry, I'm so excited. One of these fighters is showing that they have so much potential. I'm so happy that they get to stay in. You know, maybe we'll see them again next tournament. But I guess that's it for Life Light. Now we're going to see semifinals coming up. Uh... I think we're doing something different with semifinals now. They're at the same stage, and I think it's elevator time, which is, I mean, it's going to be interesting for fighters like Sasquatch Gold, for fighters like, uh, well, who else is in here in semifinals? Let's take a look again at the bracket. Uh, yeah, Sasquatch, oh yeah, Golden Boy as well. Cuphead should be okay. And DDD mm, could be interesting with those jumps. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Um, but I think they're taking a break it looks like little cup is running right now we can go take a look at that uh, i can patch you over um, but before we do let's pop into the bracket and see what we are looking at here okay this is something a little more familiar of course we do have uh captain falcon in here which is cool uh we've got captain falcon who's in finals good for him you know he got demoted to little cup but he's still showing he can do it um 
Klaus winning a match against the Phantom, but uh, losing to Captain Falcon, you know, that's fine. Rob, Pico Libre, of course, doing real well. And unfortunately, Corrado not winning Pongo as well. Um, but uh, okay, I guess we're uh, lined up to see a match of uh, Pico Libre versus Captain Falcon. Could be cool. Let's see. All right, we're here on White Gold Castle. You know, <laughs> suddenly these matches are just so much more like, so much more like they used to be. Sorry, we're a little ad hoc here. Um, you know, no one's gonna die at the end. They, they're just fighting, fighting for the winner of the match. So uh, here we go. Pika Libre, the uh, Eternal Bridesmaid, um, out here fighting Captain Falcon. You know, I'm a little surprised Pika Libre didn't get, uh, didn't get updated to uh, the main cup. Um, but uh, it looks like they were just beaten out by uh, Game and & Watch and and Punish Serendipity. So, too bad for Pika Libre, you know, she's she's really doing her best, she always has. Um, but now here she goes, she gets to fight Captain Falcon, um, who, who was, up until this tournament, a, a big cup fighter. So, you know, should be a good taste. Prove what she's made of. Captain Falcon just running up and grabbing that smash ball, no hesitation. Pika trying to stall, uh, but Captain Falcon running her down. No problem catching her there uh, in the cooldown from the up B. Pika the grabbing that uh, that food for a burst of invincibility. A very useful ability that uh, she has there. Nice edge guard there, not letting Captain Falcon come back and suddenly ties up the match. Well done. Okay, staying in there with the Skull Bashes against the wall. Uh, unconventional, but honestly smart. Um, as it doesn't move for very far, it puts out a hitbox, and uh, it uh, moves in a, in a way that's unexpected. Um, and it did seem to mess Captain Falcon up there. And uh, now Pika is in the percent lead by a decent amount. Nice back throw from Captain Falco, but the Skull Bash coming right back. I love the use of these Skull Bashes. Nice tech from Pika. Captain Falco catches her with the jab combo, but the platform is too small. She falls out. Another back throw. Nice down throw from Pika. Pika uses the ladder to get away. Captain Falcon's there first. It looks like they're looking for something. Nice up air from Pika, chasing him down uh, with a cup of green tea. Can't blame him. Nice reverse up air from Captain Falcon. Good positioning. And there's our smash ball. Again, Captain Falcon going for the big down smash, but it wasn't weakened enough this time to grab it. Pika interrupting him. Captain Falcon really wants this. And he gets it. Is he going to be able to plant it once again? He goes for a dangerous up B. Perhaps to take Pika off guard. Pika with the tilt there. Using a Thunder Jolt to keep Falcon away. Pika knows that Captain Falcon's final smash is very low range. If she can stay in a good position, she can dodge it or force him to not be able to use it. Captain Falcon going for only jabs and grabs here. <gasps> Through the wall! That was intelligent. Okay, Captain Falcon has been around since the beginning, so he knows these stages quite well. And uh, he knew that he could get uh, Blue Falcon to come in from the other side of the wall. Very intelligent play there. And now Pika is down a stock once again. But we've seen this before. Let's see if she can tie it up. Nice Falcon kick from Falcon. Ooh, the big charge with Pika able to get the hit in right at the last moment. Nice up tilt. Or sorry, down tilt to knock him upwards. Going for that bottle of milk. Pika charging herself up here. She needs to take Falcon out soon, or she's going to be in a bad spot if Falcon puts on much damage. He hasn't yet, though. Captain Falcon using the walls of White Gold Tower to stay in, but not quite enough. Only 1.4% on Pika. That's a grab release percent. And then down to zero as she grabs some food. Captain Falcon slowly falling behind here. He needed those final smashes, but now, now that they've uh, they've run out, perhaps there could be another one. I suppose. Three stocks, three final smashes. We'll see. 
All right, that was some nice comboing from Captain Falcon. That's what we need to see for this last stock if he's going to take it from Pico Libre. Pico going in with the down air. Ooh, the dash attack from Falcon catching Pika off the ledge there. Nice up smash, but not quite enough to hit her. Pika again with the Skull Bash off the ledge. Following up with the forward air, another Skull Bash. Big damage here against Falcon. Falcon can't land these Falcon kicks. <gasps> the parry into Jump Nair. Another parry from Falcon. Ooh, he tried to bait Pika by going for the uh, final smash, but he didn't actually go for it. And now Pika has it. She lets it rip. That's big damage, and that might KO if it goes up. It does. Boom. Wow, throwing those final smashes back at Captain Falcon. Looks like Pika has grabbed another little cup tournament. You know, maybe Pika in the end will be the uh, the champion. Uh, you know, it's tough to say, you know, how long this will last. Uh, you know, this is the so-called Season 6, but... You know, I don't even know if they're they're running seasons now or, or how long will I'll be able to keep the, this running up from from where I am. Uh, but uh, you know, we'll see, and uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be great to see Pika, you know, show up. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're into semis now. Looks like they're starting up. Hope you're ready for some elevator time because that's where we're headed. All right, team money at each other's throats. Finally, the money match. Sasquatch Gold and Golden Boy here to do some damage to each other, clearly. I can just see the bucks flying out as they hit each other. Coins battle. Grabbing that loaf of bread. So far, it hasn't been uh, uh, too much of the... Whoa! I was just going to say, so far the stage hasn't impacted the match very much, but uh, a great positioning by Golden... Sorry, by uh, Sasquatch Gold. He manages to do a quick back air and stage spike Golden Boy as the platforms are lowering. Look at that tech. You know, I was a little worried about Sasquatch Gold with his up Bs, but that tech on the rising elevator, he is fine on these ledges. Very interesting. Golden Boy, of course, also a very known for his uh, flying around stages, so uh, I doubt he will have any problems with the elevator time, but he does have to watch out for Sasquatch as he clearly has some tech in these stages. Sasquatch Gold, still with three stocks, going for the cargo throw upwards. Avoiding the knee handily. Golden Boy coming right back at him. A big charge on the up smash, but Sasquatch Gold patient that might do it the elevator was too far away from to come back great knee from hothead golden boy and the revenge ko from the bunny hood sasquatch gold coming right off the angel platform and going for the forward air to dunk hothead golden boy right through the middle of the elevator shaft he, he was too complacent you know he got a he got a nice ko with the with the uh knee but then Dunked him right down the middle. Wow. What a comeback. Sasquatch Gold again with a stock lead against Golden Boy. Waiting patiently with that final smash. Doesn't go after him. Not quite enough to KO, but a big boost on damage here. Golden Boy needs to find something if he wants to stay alive. The super armor from... Oh, nice parry. From Sasquatch Gold getting oppressive here against Golden Boy. That down smash did nothing to him. Golden Boy unfazed. Sorry, Go Sasquatch Gold unfazed. There's too much gold here. It's too shiny. I'm blind. Again, unfazed. The get-up attack did nothing. What can Golden Boy do? Yes, command grabs is the right answer against super armor. We want to see more of that. Wow, look at this aerial play. Great work from both of them using the ledge to cancel. I like the up smash. Oh no, nice, oh no. <laughs> nice tech from Golden Boy, but Sasquatch Gold saw it coming. Again, the big claps took him out. So look how much, look how happier I am now that I don't have to, now I don't have to worry about life white Pichu. Why are you doing this to me? <sighs> yes, good. A winner and a loser who doesn't die. That's what I like to see. Sasquatch Gold 
moving on, just like the olden days, Sasquatch is back, folks. And Golden Boy, you made it to semifinals, but not quite enough. Whew, that was a good one. We've got another semis for you. We've got Killer Eye Cuphead versus King DDD. Let's take a look. Once again, here on Elevator Time, we saw the heavy uh, Sasquatch Gold use the stage in a clever way um, by just not moving, by being patient. He took advantage of uh, Hothead's, Hothead Golden Boy's uh, style of very mobile and very move, very quick to move around, um, whereas Sasquatch played very defensively and passively, and it absolutely worked in his favor. Look at that penguin dance. And then now here we go. We've got uh, we've got a character with a similar play style in Killer Eye Cuphead, who is very patient um, and no no. Uh, well, I was gonna say he has no shame. Uh, he he's not afraid to do the uh, do the campy style. Um, and uh, you know, with these with these elevators, he can drop those bombs from whatever height. Uh, and it does seem to be working in his favor right now, although the percents are quite similar. You know, you, you do a lot of damage, you do a lot of cool moves against King Dedede, and then he hits you once and you're you're at the same percent. Nice combo from King Dedede, bouncing Cuphead around. Did you see that dunk attempt? Because I saw that dunk attempt. Um, we've seen multiple dunks from uh, King Dedede this tournament already, uh, so definitely someone to be wary of. Nice roll into Final Smash. Are we going to see Cuphead? No, he can't grab the ledge. Unfortunate for Killer Eye Cuphead, he was doing so well in that in the first minute of the game, um, but then unfortunate that his elevator wasn't there when he needed it, and it looks like, oh, just clipped him. Hopefully for Cuphead, this does not KO because he is getting close to the edge there. <gasps> nice DI, no problem at all. He's still in this. Killer Eye Cuphead just needs a quick hit against King Deity, and he should be. Back in the game, but King Dedede picking up that food like it's no problem at all. He basically absorbs it through his skin. That's a skill I would love to have. Okay, Cuphead go with those nares. Good play right now. Nice up air through the elevator, but he landed so it didn't finish. It auto canceled there. Grabbing a piece of food, going in with that uh, boost. Not quite enough. That was smart of King Dedede to fly away to the other elevator. Playing a bit of cat and mouse here. King Dedede looking for a good position to attack, or perhaps just stalling out the timer, as he does have a whole stock on Killer Eye Cuphead. Nice tech, but we saw that last time from Golden Boy. Not the place you want to tech from. Stalling, not quite enough. He had the right idea to stall and go for the next one, but he did drop in the same way that Cuphead did. Ooh, again, very close. To killing with that up air, but just falling out of the last minute. Big parry from Cuphead there. But that jab combo, very long and kept Cuphead in the combo just long enough for the elevator to rise and bring him closer to the blast zone. And we know that jab combo sends uh, the opponent up. Penguin dance. Um, but uh, yeah, very smart play from. Uh, from King Dedede, and it looks like Cuphead is in a bad position right now. He's going to need that Smash Ball. We know he's good at getting them. But it looks like it's in King Dedede's court right now. Cuphead cannot afford to get hit by this. Good start. Looks like King Dedede's waiting for him. Oh, he wanted the dunk. That's, that's the true strategy. You know, save the Smash Ball and then go for the other KO. When they're not expecting it. <gasps> the ledge drop! That was so amazing. He ledge dropped and instantly turned around. He basically reverse B final smashed. Look at that. Ping pong ball off three sides of the elevator cabin and then dropping below the stage. That is King DDD versus Sasquatch Gold in finals, folks. RIP to the fighters who we saw drop. Metal Sonic, Edelgard, and Ganondorf. You know, you all brought us some great fights. And hopefully too, too many more won't drop in the next tournament as well. Perhaps people will figure out how Pichu works and we'll see. 
Um, but for now, we've got the finals for you. Let's see. Sasquatch Gold versus King DDD. A battle of heavyweights here. Already, we've seen them fight out on this platform very, very head-to-head. -head, throwing out attacks left and right, but it looks like Sasquatch has come out on top percent-wise. King DDD taking a beating here. Whoa! Really early stock. A 20-second stock. Uh, from uh, Sasquatch Gold there. Look at him not pulling any punches at all or any claps. Uh, he is throwing those out there. He is non-stop. You know, we saw a very patient uh, Sasquatch Gold in elevator time, but on this stage, Yin Yang Duel, where there is basically one platform, uh, rather one stage and one platform, nowhere to run. He is absolutely using that super armor to his advantage. King DDD trying to do something, but wow, look at this this slow super armor dash dancing is impressive stuff. I was gonna say, you know, the the old Smash the old Sasquatch, before all the sponsorship happened, before before, you know, he, he dyed his hair gold. You know, this is what he was like. He was jumping around. He was he was getting he he was doing what he do. Even if he's slow, you know, he, he still does it anyway and he makes it work. Wow, that was a great bait from uh, King Dedede to keep him away from the Smash Ball. He does grab it there. This could be a good turn. Interesting. That, you know, it looked like an absolute flub, but I think I see what he was going for. You can definitely hit through the stage. <gasps> Is this going to KO? Yes, it will. Do we have three stock hype in finals? Wow, okay. Almost a KO there. It looks like King Dedede does not want this to happen. He unfortunately really needed that uh, final smash to hit, but he got a little too tricky for his own good. Sasquatch Gold with the Phantom knockback there, bouncing in the left direction. Coming back with the Gordo, but the forward air does take him out. King Didi needs to ride this pressure, but when Sasquatch Gold is under a certain percentage, he just does not flinch, and that is not where you want to be against him. King DDD is great at big knockback, but if your opponent doesn't get knocked back at all, what are you going to do? Grab. That's a good play. Ooh, going for the footstool, but it's not quite enough. Steak. Steak on deck. Nice parry. Oh my god, he's stuck on here. The monkey slaps are keeping him up. He needs to do something here. He's getting knocked off the edge. He can't do anything. Where's your neutral, King DDD? Suddenly, just a hundred percent on you. Goes for an attack, and no, right through it. Super armor. Unbelievable. Sasquatch Gold, another absolute destruction of a tournament. He's back, baby. Sasquatch. Wow. Longtime viewers will remember. Will remember the era when when Sasquatch was an absolute monster. When Sasquatch was white. When Sasquatch was there to I'm keeping myself PG but he was there to take some names let's let's just say that and and, and today you know it looks like he's back and um damn I keep I keep getting excited and then remembering uh you know what happened earlier in the tournament but we can't let that you know that's not what we're here for we're not here to judge we're here to enjoy the matches that are being presented to us um, and honestly, we got to thank Pichu for that because apparently Pichu is right on this whole thing now. A uh, bit of an iron fist, but a uh, bit of an iron tail. <laughs> but uh, yeah, wow. That was something else. Um, so again, I can't, I can't promise uh, how stable this is going to be, but I'm going to do my best to have these tournaments broadcast at the usual time every week. Uh as long as they're running so make sure to check back make sure to keep that betting going because we are the hardest smash bots you know the betters and and i we're, we're gonna keep it going and uh i'll do my best from the inside you do your best from the outside and don't forget to smash on